welcome to Mindfulness Monthly, our second session together. In today's guided meditation, we'll look at how we relate to our thoughts as they arise. And we'll see if we can relate to our thoughts in a way that doesn't overwhelm us, get us entangled, or distract us completely. That is what thoughts tend to do, only human. But we can use the vehicle of meditation and apply the principles of mindfulness to discover a whole new way of being with our thoughts, whatever they may be. We'll dive into the practice and I hope wherever you are and however you're receiving this practice today, you find some joy and calm. I use the sound of the bowl to start our practice and to close it. If you need to arrange yourself into a more comfortable position, please do. Receive this practice seated or lying down and take any supports for your body if that helps too. So here's our practice, which we'll call Sky of Awareness. Enjoy. And just letting the sound of that bowl travel through you, inviting you to settle in wherever you are. Find comfort in your body and in your seat as best as you can and allowing for whatever you can't change in this moment. Eyes may have drifted closed but it's also fine if you keep your eyes open, soft eyelids gazing upon one point. And it can be helpful to take a deeper, fuller breath in so we feel our body and as you exhale, a sense of landing and arriving. You can take a fuller and deeper breath in and out whenever you need to in this practice. Beginning by getting a sense of your posture, your spine, head, shoulders and arms, down to your hips, thighs, lower legs and your feet. Just noticing how you are arranged, purely observing if there is an inclination to adjust or resettle, that is fine. If we can find a sense of stillness in our posture, that can help us to Turn in and settle. But always allow yourself to accommodate any pain or attention and mindfully respond to that even during the practice. And then however you're feeling today as you listen to this, Find a relief just in being able to be here as you are. In our mindfulness meditation, we allow and we let be for whatever is there inside of us and around us. This may require a little bit of trust 
definitely some patience. But these qualities are things that we're practicing within the meditation. So no judgment, however you do find yourself responding even to these instructions. From sensing your body, see if you can bring awareness to your breathing. Maybe your breath changes when you do that, when you bring attention to your breath. This could just be a case of sensing wherever you feel your breath in and out in your body. Maybe your belly or chest, throat or nose, or maybe you're sensing a flow of the in and out breath. Let go of needing to change your breathing or perfect it. Or notice if that inclination arises. We're going to see if we can bring and sustain our attention on our breathing for a few more moments. And that might be a matter of just sensing the feeling of it in your body. But if that's tricky, or if our mind's restless, then we can introduce some tools to help us to be with the breathing, just as it is. One tool is to note your in-breath as you feel it, such as hearing your inner voice say rising, and to note your out-breath as you feel it, such as hearing your inner voice saying falling. Or it could be as simple as breathing in and breathing out, or whatever word or words work for you. Another tool could be visualizing bringing in the image of an ocean wave. And as the wave reaches the shore, feeling that in your inhalation. And as the wave recedes back from the shore, feeling that as your exhalation. Perhaps an image comes to your mind of that ocean wave or the sea itself ebbing and flowing. Or if not an image, an internal sound like a wave in the distance or just sensing it a rising and a falling. being with your breath as it arises and as you exhale. Now we know we're here in our bodies and we're breathing. You could even re-establish the feeling of your body on whatever you're sitting or lying on just to ground you. As we move into the next phase of this practice, which is allowing our attention to notice our thoughts We will have been having thoughts the whole time. And maybe for you, one of the reasons you're doing this meditation is to get away from your thoughts or that overactive mind. 
so don't worry. We're not here to engage or make the mind even more active. And just know that at any point in noticing your thoughts, it gets too much. You've always got the choice to let go of that and to come back to feeling your breath as your focus or your feet on the ground or your hands wherever they're resting. The guidance is to allow your thoughts to come and go just as you are allowing your breathing to flow just as you are allowing your in-breath and out-breath to come and go. And we'll explore a couple of tools to apply that to our thoughts. So one tool is to imagine now, instead of the image of a sea or a wave, the image of a big blue sky. Whatever color, just allow for a big blue sky. And imagine now you are the sky you are this big blue sky or your awareness is this sky and each thought is like a cloud that appears in the sky noticing when a thought arises just as it probably is now. And allowing that thought to be like a cloud that you're watching and that you're able to hold in your awareness without interference or without getting tangled up. And really allowing yourself to let this cloud appear and then pass on through. And the next thought will arise. And this too is a cloud that can appear, that has appeared. It's there. And you as the sky allow for it without clinging on, the cloud eventually moves through. Now if the cloud does not move through and it stays, then we notice that. Perhaps we go into the body and if we're feeling up to it, we could even notice how this cloud is making us feel in our body. And we can describe in our mind's eye the sensations that come with this thought, with this cloud. If that's too much, overwhelming or difficult, then return to the feel of your breathing and either stay with the inhale and exhale, or if you feel relaxed after a few rounds of being with your breath, you could fall back into your big blue sky and see again if maybe the next thought could be a cloud that moves through or if it's the same cloud, maybe this time you can hold it with a little less tension or gripping 
or overwhelm. Everything is a moment to moment experience. So you let go of expectations of yourself and of what should happen. The guidance that you're hearing is in itself suggestion and there are always options be that just to relax in your chair and let my voice be in the background be that to engage and then release and then try again Or be that just to have your eyes softly open, gazing on one point if that is proving to steady your mind today. You might choose for the next few moments to stay with this idea of you being sky and your thoughts being clouds. I'd like to offer another tool for how we can approach our thoughts and meditation. Again, you could let this be in the background or you might choose today to practice with this instruction. When we notice we're having a thought, we label it as just that thought or thinking sometimes I personally have another word for it and I label it happening treating the event or the thought as an event treating the event of having a thought as a happening. Or just plainly saying to yourself, thinking. And what do you do then? Well, having labeled the thought, you've created this helpful little, little distance between who and how you are now and the thought that's occurring. And depending on how you feel in this moment, it might be that that is enough and you then just rest in how and where you are until you realize thinking has occurred again or a thought has occurred that has grabbed you. Or we come back again to the breathing and when a thought takes us away from notice the breathing, that's when we label it thought. This is one of the reasons we practice and ideally we practice regularly. Not just to find calm in the moment and help us along in our day, although that is fantastic but so that each time we practice, we develop tools, we develop a capacity to be with what is. And in the very vehicle of meditation, we get to discover what works for us actually. What does seem to help you in this moment? Let's have another minute like this, practicing being with our thoughts. The option of being a sky and letting each thought be a cloud. Or the option of resting in your body and noting with a label thinking when you realize that that is where your mind has taken you to. Or simply being as you are and noticing your breathing, if that's what you need today.
invite us to feel the breathing a little bit more deliberately now. Feel your inhale. Let go on your exhale. Maybe you can relax your body a little more. Let go now of any images, labels. Let go of needing to bring your attention to anything at all. Let go and let go. And be with how you are now. Perhaps take another big breath or deeper breath in and then out. Allow yourself to feel the benefits of having taken this time to practice meditation today. If there's any quality or feeling you're experiencing now that feels helpful, Imagine you're storing that inside right now and you can take that into the rest of your day or evening. Thank you for joining this meditation and well done. Hope to see you next month.